Hello everybody, this is Steve Guzzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in a Premiere Elements project dealing with a situation that comes up fairly regularly. We have created a style here. It's not terribly elaborate, but it is a style we want to reuse for our title. I'd like to create a whole series of titles using this font, this color, this style. Well, how do I do it? Well, there's a challenge here, which is if you were to copy this, say copy, move the playhead down and paste it, you end up not with a duplicate, but with a clone. And if I were to change this particular title, by double clicking on it. I like this style, we'll call it, we'll like the style too. Look what happens, not only does it change this title, but it also changes the original. That's not what we want, and that's what happens when you make a copy. So I'm gonna undo this, Control Z, Control Z, to make that disappear. Instead, I'm gonna duplicate the title rather than copy it. To duplicate a title, I go up to Project Assets, I right click on it, and select, don't select copy, select duplicate. Now, a duplicate is an unconnected copy. So in other words, any changes I make to this copy or to this duplicate will not be reflected in the original. So if I take this title and double click on it, I can change this to, I like this style too. And notice that when I go back to my original title, it remains the same. So a very fine distinction, do not copy your title. If you copy your title and paste it, you're going to get a clone of your title and any changes you make to one, these changes are going to be made to both of them or all of them. But if you duplicate and you can duplicate as many times as you want, you're going to create an unconnected copy that you can modify in any way you want. Now, if you want to learn more tips and tricks like this, be sure and stop by moviepix.com where we got lots of these kind of tutorials. And if you want to know everything there is to know about the program, including little hints like this and how to create text that has a border around it, be sure and check out the moviepix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. That's available at amazon.com. I'm the guy who wrote the book. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again real soon.